how you guys so it's been a hot minute since I have been on here filming I've probably taken a break for almost two months now um, the last video I filmed was pre-filmed or the last video I posted was pre-filmed so I haven't filmed anything for a very long time um, being in the retail business um, over the holidays was a wide awakening to me as to how little time I even had to even just do some Christmas shopping so I legit had no time to film I was spending what little time I had you know Christmas shopping and Christmas decorating and stuff like that so we are back it's January 18th <laughs> and yeah we're gonna play with some new makeup I'm gonna kind of fill you guys in on some of my channel plans and let's just get into it guys we have a bunch of new products we have the new bite foundation the new bite powder we have um, a couple new palettes that are new to me I have the Violet Voss 2 and then Lunar Beauty I have these two I've got <laughs> I've got the new Beauty Blender excited to try this out it is wet so this is why it's purple so I'm going to go ahead and start with priming my face. I'm going in with the Oil and Shine Control Primer. It is my Ride or Die Primer. Ladies, if you have oily skin, you have to try this. If I would have filmed a 2019 favorite, this would have been in it. But I had high hopes of filming that video, but it just did not happen. I really wanted to, but uh, the retail industry called. I have been working for the past like a month, about 50 hours a week. It has been ridiculously busy. It's something I just did not realize, especially being a full-time person in the retail industry. Last year I was just part-time in retail. And I was only doing like 30 some hours a week and up to 50 was just too much so I'm going in with the bite beauty foundation I got it in the shade L 30 so here's what the packaging looks like it just comes in a nice little squeezy tube kind of enjoying that and I'm just gonna kind of dot this on my face um, I do know this is supposed to be like a like medium coverage foundation so I'm pretty much always a full coverage person so we'll have to see how this looks see if I can build it up any I did go ahead and put on my brows just so that I wouldn't have to do that on camera because I didn't have anything new for the brows. So this is a good medium coverage. This is by no means full coverage at all. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the medium coverage look today just because I'm kind of feeling it. Um, then I'm going to go in with the Benefit Boing Concealer. I have had this a little while, but I've been kind of stuck on using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I love that stuff to death. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out real quick. Oh, and by the way, this is my first actual, like, beauty blender. I don't own any... Let me take that back. I think I own the, like, classic pink one. So I got it in a... I don't like an Ipsy box or Boxy Charm or something. I do like it, but I think that the like texture wise and everything feels just as good as my Real Techniques sponge. But I think it's pretty cool how it's color changing. I do like that aspect. So the foundation is looking pretty good. I do have the Bite powder. I'm gonna use that to kind of set my entire face, but me being oily, I do have to. Um, like bake so I'm going in with the Ciate London like this is like the translucent powder 
Um, if I don't bake, like, I would be scared to see, like, uh, how my makeup would actually look if I did not bake by the end of the day. It would probably be a shambles. The foundation kind of has, like, a tackiness to it. Like, before it's set, I've, I've tried some foundations like that. And I've never been a fan of that, kind of. Like, I prefer it to kind of sink on into the skin and kind of, like, set itself type situation. I don't know if you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but my experience with, like, real tacky foundations before you powder them has never been good. Okay, I got that done. I'm going to go ahead and go in with a blush. I have this set from the... Raven About You Colourpop set. It's a blush sticks little set. Um, I'm going in with the shade Wallaby. Here's what it looks like. It's kind of like this like purpley. It's kind of a purpley blush which is kind of cool. I love cream blushes. I pretty much use them every day. And this cream blush, it um, kind of almost gives your skin like almost a highlighted effect too because it's like a shimmery blush. So it kind of is like a blush and a blush topper all in one, which is kind of cool. Okay, that's what the blush looks like. I love it. Okay, then I'm just going to go in with the Bite Powder. I have it in the shade Light 1. Here's what the packaging looks like. It's, it's really just simple, but really cute. I love, I don't know, I just love the minimalistic look. Oh, it was totally upside down. <laughs> there you go. And then here's what it looks like in the inside watch it it feels just like very feels very soft it feels nice and then I'm just gonna go in with my big powder brush that looks really nice I like this powder Okay, next up for the face, I have this Kylie Cosmetics. It was the Christmas like face palette she released. It has a highlighter, a blush, two highlighters, sorry, a blush and a uh, bronzer. I'm going to use the bronzer. It's in the shade called Toasty. And here's what the palette looks like on the inside. Really pretty. This bronzer is kind of cool toned and looks a little bit light, but that does look nice. And I feel like my powder brush compared to the size of the pan is just a little bit, the pan is like too small. So anyways, I need to talk about my channel updates, channel thoughts, life thoughts. Um, Sam was recently up here and we were able to celebrate Christmas, finally. Um, he wasn't able to come up here before Christmas and I was, I was super busy with work. So it kind of just worked out for the best that he came up after the new year and we celebrated together then, which was really nice. I, um, had a really a really really fun time um he got me this necklace for Christmas it has a little sunflower in the middle let's see when he was up here we kind of just did some shopping uh, he got to experience snow for the first time which was kind of cute he <laughs> got to scrape it off of the car that we were driving <laughs> And he had never did that before. I 
I got a little heavy with the blush. There we go. That looked a little better. So he got to experience snow and that was, you know, it was fun and, you know, we hung out at my house and we ate junk food and that's always fun. And so, you know, him being here was nice and I miss him already. He's already back at Arizona and, but he's already planning. We're trying to figure out when he's going to be back. So that's nice. But overall, things with Sam and I are great. It's a little life update there. Um, also, channel updates. I am going to be going into this Lunar Beauty palette now. Here's what the inside looks like. It is stunning. Love this. Um, I'm going into the shade called Skyline right here. And I'm just going to be working that all over into my crease and stuff. Anyways, channel. I am going to get back to posting, guys. I promise. Um, I took a break over Christmas just because I was so busy. I just plain could not upload. Um, but I am back. I'm ready to be back. Um, things have really slowed down. Work has slowed down. We aren't working as many hours. Um, I just have more time to actually focus on uh, the things I want to focus on and stuff and I am going to be trying to post for sure once a week if not twice a week would be ideal but I don't know if that will happen because sometimes with my schedule it's hard to even get once a week done but I'm for sure gonna be doing once a week <laughs> I would like to post every Sunday. I just like posting on Sundays. Let me know if Sundays, if you guys watch YouTube on Sundays. I know sometimes when I have posted on Sundays, my videos haven't did very good, like view wise. So it, it's kind of a catch 22. Like I really enjoy posting on Sundays because I'm always off on Sundays because Hobby Lobby is closed on Sundays. But I feel like some people are just spending time with family and they, you know, it's uh, like they aren't even watching YouTube. So that's like why I wonder why sometimes my video, my videos didn't do as good as what I thought they would. But anyways, um... I do want to try to for sure post once a week. I would love to be able to post twice a week. And um, if you guys have any video requests, please leave me a comment letting me know if there's something you would like for me to do a video on. I'm more than happy to take requests because sometimes we just plain run out of ideas. <laughs> but um, no, I have actually been planning on um, redoing my entire uh, room. I want to, like I'm not going to be repainting anything because we repainted this room like two years ago and I like the white paint so I'm not going to be repainting but I am going to be like changing up the wall decor changing up um I kind of want to change up my makeup storage so I do want to kind of do like a makeup declutter while I'm changing over my room I want to do uh I'm going to be changing up my bed uh, I'm just changing pretty much everything in my room except for like the paint and stuff and the flooring but I'm gonna be getting new curtains I'm just really really excited I'm ready for a change you know there's it's like you do get burnt out with things and I'm burnt out with the way my room looks I love the way it looks during Christmas but I'm burnt out with it like on the normal basis like what it looks like during the rest of the year I've taken this real skinny brush and I've kind of created a wing with this uh, purple shade I'm working with here 
and I've just been putting this purple shade like all over the lid I'm kind of doing a really easy look and then I'm going back in with that transition shade to kind of blend the two colors together I did have a little bit of fallout and then I'm going to be going into the shade called Blue Diamond. It's a super pretty shade that I have used for the inner corner with other looks I've created. And it just turns out so beautiful. It's like my favorite new inner corner shade. Here's what the eye look looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on and I'll be right back guys. Okay you guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. I went ahead and applied the cherry shade out of this little Vice Urban Decay liquid lipstick set that I got over the holidays. Um, it is kind of a more a sheer formula and it's kind of a uh, satin finish, it's not a matte finish. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. I've missed you guys. I'm glad I'm back. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Give me a video idea. And please don't forget that you are absolutely stunning. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. So check out my Instagram pages at Colorful Gidget or my new brand at Spunky Scrunchies. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, click the circular icon in the middle. Or if you haven't seen my most recent or another favorite of mine, click the one on the top right or the bottom right.